Three reasons why I think that I will always have a macaw in my flock. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapolis Bond and the new book, Get to Know African Grey and Cape Parrots, both available on Amazon. Get your copy today. This is my Mac Monster Catalina Macaw Kailani. I love my parrots. My parrots are my bliss. If you are here to be inspired, to increase the, blonde, the bond with your parrots, then you're in the right place. My mission is to help reduce the need for rescues by increasing your bliss. And if you're used to hanging out so you knew that this was Kailani, thank you so much for being here. I love my fans almost as much as I love my parrots. So let's get started. <music> Hey guys, so first, real quick, um, if you are looking for a last minute holiday gift, make sure you visit our merch shop at shop.parablis.com. My daughter makes these awesome illustrations. Every now and then I make one too. I was so thrilled because I saw uh, a hands macaw with one of my t-shirts of a heart and a hands macaw for Christmas. So excited and I got permission to share the video. So there it is. Oh, I love seeing it. I love it. I love it. I hope it increases your bliss. Okay. So three reasons that I think I will always have a macaw in my flock. In other words, if anything happened to Kailani, I don't know if I would run out and get another macaw. Don't let anything happen to you. Stay strong and healthy. Live for the 50 years you're supposed to live for. And she's already three and a half, four. Oh my God. But the three reasons I think I will always have a Mac monster. Number one, these parrots, they're so big. They have a presence, a presence that you can hear. My ears, they're not ringing, but you know, they're loud. A presence that tends to be in your face. <laughs> I love when she sees herself in the camera. She always like looks. Um, a, a look and feel that is majestic. I realized that one of the things, um, I think this is a part of her presence. One of the things she does, she'll like, look at me. Like, like, are you seeing me? Are you paying attention? And I love it. She just has such a personality and such an expression. Um, and she does talk a little, but she has an expression even when she doesn't use human words, right? She still can express herself. So I would say that's the second reason because of her ability to interact with me. She really interacts. She'll lift her foot if she wants to be picked up. She lets me hug her. Oh, <laughs> oh, hi Kainani. <clears throat> a lot of the times she'll put her head down. She knows she's gonna be hugging. She puts her head down. My husband thinks she actually likes it. It's not something I recommend with a macaw you're not familiar with. She and I have a lot of trust built up and I think she knows I had been sad. I'm still a little sad because um, I did lose my other macaw, her macaw, because I lost her macaw this summer and then recently lost my golden conure heart beyond breaking. I mean, it's just, it's been, it's been really hard. And so I've been turning to her for hugs and she's been so good about giving them to me. So her ability to interact, you know, it's just, it's so different. Any parrot can interact. My parrot left the smallest domestic, well, they're not domesticated, the smallest parrot that um, can be a pet. My, my parrot lets, they interact, but it's not the same way, you know? I mean, if they do look at you like that, you don't notice it as much because they're not as big, but I haven't noticed them doing that. Um, Kailani really, you know, the interaction is different. It's it, because she's bigger, it, I just think it's harder to miss. I think that's a lot of it. And number three, of course, because of all of that, the bond is bigger. If I go upstairs, her new thing is she flies up to the top of the landing and squawks like, I know you went up to your bedroom. I don't care. I still want to be with you. Come out or let me in. And I'm like, there's cats in here. And she's like, I don't care. I'll eat them. I'm like, no, <laughs> right? So 
there you have the three reasons I think that I will always have a mech monster in my flock and in my heart. And it's in my heart, I like to experience it too. Now, if you are looking for a Catalina macaw, they're not easy to find. A Catalina macaw is a hybrid. And what that means is that her parents, one was a blue and gold macaw and one was a scarlet macaw. So uh, it's just not a very common mix. As I recall, here in Florida, macaws may lay eggs twice a year, but I think it's common for them to have one clutch a year. And even when they have two, they only have one, two, three eggs every time. So it's not like it's really super easy to find macaws everywhere. Um, they, they get bred, but in other words, finding like a certain species of macaw isn't easy. A Catalina macaw is its own species because it has two different parrots. So it doesn't count as a scarlet, it doesn't count as the blue and gold. And finding a hybrid macaw isn't very easy. So we know of a hybrid Catalina macaw right now, a little girl, and I'm hopefully showing you some video right now of the sweet little girl. If you are interested, please be sure to either message me if you are seriously interested. Keep in mind this is about a $6,000 bird. Um, and if you're in Florida, because I think shipping is a possibility, the baby does need to be fed for one more month. Um, so shipping is a possibility, but you know, sometimes when you have parrots, you don't want to ship. Like I, when I have babies, I, I've never shipped one. Hey, be gentle, be nice. I don't want to ship one. They're fine. People do it all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm like, I don't want them to be get a you know shipping crate and ah. so so especially um this breeder also can ship but i think feels the way i do they prefer to deliver it in person which is so much nicer for you because then there's no scam right like you can't get scammed when you're not gonna pay the like you probably have to pay a deposit but the balance until you get the bird so i think it's much better all around whenever it's possible it's not always possible someone's trying to get my attention be nice mcmonster get over here Get over here. Why are you doing that? Um, if you enjoyed this feathered mech monster video, these monsters, I call I call my macaws monsters because they're big, they're bad, and they know it. And for that reason, they can be very intimidating. And so you do have to be able to have a very loving but upper beak hand. And you, you have to be at the top of the pecking order. You have to understand how to do that in order to have a good experience and in order to train your parrot for hugs thank you for joining me in this blissful video i will catch you in the next feather video please be sure to give kailani and i a thumbs up and then we will catch you in the next feathered video thanks guys